Mercedes has played always a very important role in motor racing. We have not only participated in the most iconic and most important races, like the Indy 500, Le Mans, but most importantly in Formula One. As Mercedes, we have been active in the 30s, in the 50s, um, the time when the name of the Silver Arrow, the very famous name of Silver Arrow, was created. Actually, the first ever Mercedes car was a race car that was commissioned by a certain Mr. Jelinek. So we have a great history and heritage in motor racing and we have come back with our works team in 2010 and obviously have shaped the landscape and pushed the boundaries in the last years. Hockenheim is our German home race and it's just up the road from Stuttgart. So we will be hoping to have a lot of colleagues, lots of fans who will be joining us at the track. There will be plenty of festivities and activations during the race weekend. One of the very many activities that you will see on track is that we have tried to bring an homage to the very famous Silver Arrow. This livery symbolizes 125 years of Mercedes-Benz Motorsport. Part of the design process is to look back through the Daimler archives and go through all the old race win posters, the race cars, and pull inspiration back into the current day livery. As it's the 125 year anniversary, it seemed logical to start that step at the beginning of the racing heritage, all the way through to the current day. That's why you see the white of the German racing cars coming through into the paint scratch of the Silver Arrows of the 1930s through to the present day car. So usually the livery would take months and months to design. It starts with the initial idea, which comes from Toto. That gets pushed down into the marketing director and then down to myself. That then gets explored with Daimler Design and Gordon Wagner. From there, we go through multiple decisions and multiple approvals. We then move over into production and we work with the aero team here and the technical team, as well as the paint shop to apply delivery and to make sure there's minimal impact on, on car performance. The normal process for that could take up to six months, but this process took eight weeks. When we come up with a livery such as this, what will usually happen is design and marketing will give us the design, show us what they want to do, and then it's up to us to try and interpret the, the visuals and work out a way of uh, applying. Sometimes this can be through a paint media, sometimes this will be through a vinyl media such as the 125 livery. The reason that we're going to wrap this livery is really down to logistics. So we're going from the German Grand Prix straight to the Hungarian Grand Prix and we needed a solution that we could remove very quickly because obviously the cars can't come back back to the UK. With the 125 year livery we've had about six people in the paint shop involved and that comes from uh, the people doing the artwork, uh, the printing of the vinyl, the cutting, the weeding of the vinyl and also the application of the wrap itself. In total, we're probably wrapping between 80 and 90 separate components for this, for this race. So that obviously includes the cars themselves and all the spare wings, bodywork, cooling options, etc. To wrap the livery uh, per car is about 14 hours, um, but with all the spares, etc., probably around about 200 hours, I think. At the end of the event, the plan will be to remove the livery uh, for Hungary, because we want to be back in our original livery. We have a technician uh, that will be there and he will carefully remove the, the vinyl and make sure that we don't damage the paintwork underneath. This is a very special race for us at Hockenheim to celebrate 125 years of motorsport. So we hope that you will enjoy the activities and uh, looking forward to see some of you at the track. <laughs>